こんにちは、and welcome to Sumo Prime Time. I'm Hiro Morita. The New Year's tournament went down to the wire. But in the end, it was this man, Yokozuna Teru no Fuji, coming out on top to capture his ninth championship. Please enjoy the comeback Yokozuna's entire performance from the 15 day competition in Tokyo. The opening day. Terunofuji's opponent is Ura, the 31 year old combatant who is making his debut at the fourth highest rank of Komusubi. Ura quickly gains a double inside grip, but Terunofuji marches. Terunofuji goes for the Kotenage arm lock throw and swings Ura out of the ring. The Yokozuna neutralizes the Komusubi with a strong arm lock. And takes the match in convincing fashion. A good start for Terunofuji. Terunofuji fought Wakamoto Haru the next day. Wakamoto Haru pushes Terunofuji, but the Yokozuna doesn't budge. They go chest to chest, and Terunofuji surges. Wakamoto Haru now rallies, but the Yokozuna perseveres the attack. The two Rikishi are going after each other hard. Who has more stamina and more importantly, who wants this bout more? Wakamoto Haru has his favorite left hand inside and right hand outside grip and forces Tenno Fuji back, but the Yokozuna resists. What a match! Wakamoto Haru once again flexes his muscles, marches, and this time he puts Tenno Fuji away. Wakamoto Haru upsets Tenno Fuji on day two. Terno Fuji was in a bounce back match against Abi on day three. Abi charges, but Terno Fuji evades the onslaught and goes after Abi. Abi recovers and rallies, but Terno Fuji escapes with Totari armbar throw in the end. Terno Fuji rebounds from the setback on the previous day. A hard pusher, Gono Yama, is aiming to score a big upset here on day four. Terno Fuji immediately gains a strong left hand grip and dumps Gono Yama. A walk in the park for Terno Fuji as he goes to 3 and 1. Another hard pusher, Hokuto Fuji, was the challenger on day 5. Terno Fuji gains a deep upper body grip to stop Hokuto Fuji's forward charge and has little trouble dispatching Hokuto Fuji with a strong Oshidashi push out. Terno Fuji's opponent on day 6 is Tobi Zaru, who calls himself the Flying Monkey. Tobizaru is fast and feisty. Tobizaru is keeping Terno Fuji at bay with his fast paced offense. He goes for the leg sweep, but it doesn't work. Terno Fuji now gets really aggressive and is punishing Tobizaru with his fierce attack. Terno Fuji emphatically shoves the flying monkey out of the ring. Shodai gains a deep double inside position and steps on the gas. Terno Fuji backpedals, wants to escape, but Shodai shuts him down. Terno Fuji suffers his second loss on day seven. The Yokozuna is now five and two. The next day, Terno Fuji is hoping to quickly get back on the right track. Terno Fuji and Yuden lock up right from the get go. Yuden seems to have the advantage with a strong right hand grip on the Yokozuna. Yuden tries to start his offense, but Terno Fuji holds his ground. Terno Fuji now raises Yuden's center of gravity, forces him back and out. What a powerful performance by the Yokozuna to bounce back from his day 7 defeat. Terno Fuji enters the second week of this 15 day contest, so the stamina becomes a key factor. Terno Fuji aggressively attacks Nishikigi. Nishikigi tries to recover and rally, but the Yokozuna relentlessly keeps up the pressure. Terno Fuji now has his go to weapon, the left hand outside grip. He forces Nishikigi to the edge and outmuscles the ranking fighter to score his seventh win. On day 10, Terno Fuji met Kim Bozan from Kazakhstan. 
Ten no Fuji immediately gains advantage by establishing his go-to weapons. The Yokozuna gets set and executes his signature maneuver, the Watte Nage overarm throw to easily take the match. Ten no Fuji hardly breaks a sweat to defeat Onosho on day 11. Another strong performance by the Yokozuna. On day 12, Teruno Fuji's opponent is Ono Sato, a Shinyu Maku top division rookie. Ono Sato is hoping to score a huge upset in front of his stable master, former Yokozuna Kiseno Sato. Ono Sato is aiming to become the first rookie in 10 years to score a victory over a Yokozuna. Teruno Fuji, of course, will try everything he can to deny that from happening. Ono Sato starts with a fast charge, but Terno Fuji isn't going anywhere. Terno Fuji stops Ono Sato with a strong grip and slams the rookie to the clay. Terno Fuji shows who the boss is. Entering day 13, Kotono Waka has a sole possession of their lead with 11 wins and one loss. Terno Fuji and two others were breathing down Kotono Waka's neck, each with 10 wins and two losses. And on day 13, Teruno Fuji is given an opportunity he was waiting for as he is matched up against Kotono Waka. Kotono Waka is aiming to beat Teruno Fuji for the first time and take a huge step towards winning his first championship. Kotono Waka goes inside and advances. But Teruno Fuji improves his position and fights back. Teruno Fuji chugs ahead and beats Kotono Waka. The Yokozuna asserts his dominance, and after 13 days, it's Teruno Fuji, Kirishima, and Kotono Waka in a three way tie for first place. Terunofuji's day 14 opponent Ho Shoryu is now on the sidelines due to an injury. Terunofuji goes to 12 and 2. Day 15. Terunofuji and Kotono Waka are the co leaders. Kirishima is still in striking distance. First to fight is Kotono Waka. He wants to win this match to put a pressure on Teruno Fuji. Kotono Waka stops Tomizaru's offense by getting a good hold of the flying monkey. Kotono Waka gets set and unleashes Watenage over arm throw to take the match. Kotono Waka advances to 13 and 2. Now it's Teruno Fuji's turn to deliver. The Yokozuna knows that he has to win his upcoming match to punch his ticket to a playoff. The final regulation match of the New Year's tournament. It's Yokozuna Teruno Fuji versus Ozeki Kirishima. Teruno Fuji stops Kirishima's charge and then blows the Ozeki away. Teruno Fuji scores his 13th win of the contest and will now head it to a playoff.
Totoro Waka got beat by Terno Fuji on day 13, so he wants to avenge his loss and capture his first top division championship. Terno Fuji looks calm and collected. The Yokozuna is gunning for his ninth title in his first since May of last year. The two combatants will meet for one last time for all the marbles. Will Terno Fuji win to prove his true comeback? Or will Kotono Waka capture his first title? Tonowaka seizes a double inside grip, but Terno Fuji quickly recovers. Tonowaka pulls, and Terno Fuji advances. Terno Fuji goes deep with the left, applies the pressure by staying tight, and upends Kotonowaka to win the playoff. Terno Fuji is the champion of the 2024 New Year's Tournament. Kotono Waka gave his best, but once again, he comes up short. Terunofuji receives the Emperor's Cup from Hakkaku Oyakata, the chairman of Japan Sumo Association. うん、やっぱ。もっと期待で次のバンスケを目指してほしいなと思います。え、皆さん、15日間本当にありがとうございました。え、明日からライバルに向けて頑張りますので、また皆さん応援のほどよろしくお願いします。After the victory ceremony, Terno Fuji returns to the dressing room to meet his family and supporters to share the happy moment. Congratulations to Terno Fuji for winning his ninth championship. The comeback Yokozuna proved that he is still the king of the ring. And that'll do it for Sumo Prime Time. I'm Hiro Morita. Arigato for watching and sayonara. Hey, thanks for watching Sumo Prime Time. If you're enjoying our channel, make sure and click and subscribe and check out all of our contents.